Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing some quality of life upgrades to the workshop, putting a few things on the wall and making the workflow a lot easier. So let's get it done. Right, so I haven't talked about this yet. This is something that I got from Cunningham Custom Creations from Instagram. Uh, link for his channel, his YouTube channel and his Instagram will be in the description and I'll probably put one up here as well. Um, this is something that I bought from him. He was doing these for really cheap. Um, so logos, it's all come out of um, MDF, really nicely done. And then what I did was I sent this to Claire at Claire's Crafty Corner, again links in the description, uh, and up here to Instagram and YouTube, and got her to do the epoxy for it. Now it's come out beautifully, I am really happy with how it is, um, but I've had this sat in the garage for ages because I haven't had a chance to get it up. So this is going to go on the sticker board in the middle, and then on the wall here, and it's going to be the background for most of my videos, for my outros and intros like this. How's it look? You can see it before me, does it look right? Close enough to me. Been waiting to do this for months. And I can finally say my sticker board Is up. That turned out nice, didn't it? Yeah, quite like that. I mean, everything around it, yeah, I've done that too. But uh, yeah, I didn't record it. Oh, and this one, yeah, this is new as well. Um, there's a video on that, I'll link it yeah, at the top there. But yeah, no, uh, this one's new as well since I recorded that last video. Oh, yeah, and the built in table saw, yeah. That's new too. Um, oh, the zero insert plate. Yeah, that's new. Didn't record that one. All the holders for Alexa and my mallets and things. Yeah, all new. Didn't record a single thing of it, which would have been really good for this video. How are? But yes, that bit was recorded a long time ago uh, before I made some more significant shop upgrades and didn't record any of them. But anyway, let's move on and let's do a few more. Okay, so I picked up a uh, new lumber rack from Amazon. Um, and this is gonna be going up here along with this one. So the plan is to add another one there, and another one there. So the smaller pieces that I've got will fit on it a lot easier and, um, you know, more functionable. That's not a word. It might be, I don't know. But anyway, gonna put this one up there, see how I get on and uh, Go from there. So let's, I guess, take all of this rubbish off first. Let's go. That's a lot more than I thought. Uh, let's get these other racks up so I can stop putting this stuff back. So I got my Triton timber rack from FFX Tools. Uh, it, I'll leave links uh, down below for this one. Uh, so this is exactly the same uh, timber rack that I have already up. Right, and there we go. So now I can fill these ones up with the little ones, and the longer ones can go down there. Simple. So there you go, I've got my shorter bits of timber on here, uh, my longer ones are going to go across there, and it just means that I've got a lot more space in order to actually sort out what I'm doing. 
this. I still need to sort this out, but let's just ignore that. Concentrate on that one. What I'm going to do is get this one mounted just underneath here. Um, having a paper roll like this is really good for glue ups and things like that, or anything that you don't want to ruin your workbench for. So I'm going to attempt to try and get it mounted about there, so then I can flip it over and uh, use it as a nice protective surface. Okay, so I've got these two cuts out, so these will go onto the end of the bench like that, with another bit of this going through. Uh, I will need to put something on the end in order to stop it from obviously coming off. Right, on my little trip to B&Q the other day, I picked up some of these things. Uh, these are little storage pots which I should be able to mount just to there really easily. Okay, so next up, getting some of these on the wall and I think they're gonna go about there. Let's go. Long this can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh. We're gonna find them and I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. I need to join these together by putting a little bit down there um, so I need to work out how big I need it. Now I really am loving the bowl with uh, the measurements because it is actually surprisingly accurate. So I put it to 30mm, it is 30mm which means I've got it set up right. So, um, long ones, short ones, nice little gap for the medium ones when I get them. So Axminster, if you fancy sending me some 600mm uh, clamps or whatever, fine by me. Cheers! So, just a few nice, simple, easy workshop upgrades that you can do to make your life a whole lot easier. I'm loving everything that I've done. I'm sure there's more that I need to do at some point, but I'll make do with what I've got at the moment. Alright, so I'll see you on whatever I'm building next. There's more videos over there for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe share with a friend. I'll catch you on the next build video. Have a good one.